professor that's in, uh, mentoring the students through this. I've done an electric vehicle before. Uh, so let's get right to it. I'm going to give you an overview of the slides of how we got to this point, and then I'm going to give the demo over to my students. Okay, so we start with these uh, uh, parts right here. You have a speed controller right here. You have a motor here. And what happens is that there's no instructions. So we're going to go to the next slide. And we also have batteries. These are just a large version of what you have in your pocket. It's a lithium ion battery. Uh, these are, have also phosphate in them for fire suppression. Okay, so we start here, we've got a board and we've got a bunch of tools. We're learning basic skills like soldering and cutting wires and making terminals. I'll go to the next slide. And this is an example of how large the uh, terminals are because you're putting so many amps through it. These are very, they're big, they're like this big. And that's a, a hydraulic crimper. Okay, next slide. Maria is holding the Oh yeah, wire. Maria has one right there. Okay. Yeah. And here is uh, Michael right here. Michael's uh, showing how to clamp that and make a, a, a proper terminal so it's safe. And this is Kasim over there, and he's uh, working on the wiring and very detailed uh, you know, uh, presentation here. Okay, now you have the wiring diagram. There's no instructions. You have to trace back every wire. You have to continuity test every, every wire, make sure that the high voltage is controlled by the low voltage. This technical you know, details, but the overview is that they're learning how to read a schematic. And this is them working and uh, doing a good job of keeping it organized. They're, they're mounting everything on the table. Why not put it in a car? Well, what you want to do first is make sure everything works. It's make, keep it very simple. Uh, it's a, called a bench test. Okay. Uh, here's Maria making a cable clamp right there. Okay, next slide. And this is uh, Mark Rosarette. He's our machine shop uh, uh, manager, and he's uh, measuring up. We're going to make a, a motor adapter to hold it on the bench, and it's very, it's great having a machine shop here. I wish it was here when I went here for one year, but it, you know, time moves on. So okay. And here we are measuring. This is our plate right here. Next one. And so sometimes you come across a situation where you can't buy the parts you need. <laughs> We needed to, yeah, we needed to make some of these bridges, right? And so we actually cut copper wire and open the circle and then drill two holes and that's the bridge to connect the batteries. So we didn't have to buy the connector. And you can see right here, here's uh, uh, Maria using the uh, machines in the machine shop, that's a bandsaw, and she's doing it safely. She's using a push stick right there. He's filing it to make sure the edges don't have any sharpness to it. And here's the bridge. That's a bridge right there. You can buy these or you can make them yourself. Okay, next slide. Uh, this is us working together with the plan. Uh, a lot of these innovations came up with, they came up with on their own. I didn't think of using the, the copper pipe. I was like, ah, oh, where are we gonna order them from? And they're like, well, we could use this pipe. And I was like, okay, great. Uh, this is us setting up the battery. So now all of these links link the battery in series. Okay, if you, a typical flashlight has two batteries in it, the old D batteries, right? Well, when you put them together, the voltage increases. So we needed to get up to 120 volts to run our system. <coughs> and this is us working together. We did a presentation over the summer similar to this, okay? And once we're done with this phase in the project, we're gonna put it onto a transmission. This is the, the shape of the of the transmission, and that's our, our large transmission because it's eventually going to go into a truck. And this is the truck we have right here. This is us towing it and moving it around in the parking lot, getting it prepared. So that is the overview of how we got to here, and now my students are going to take it away and they're going to show you how this demonstration works. All right, so you guys saw that big picture, uh, basically where we have all the parts laid out on the floor, a whole bunch of wire, and nothing but that schematic to work with. Uh, with that schematic, you know, we basically had to figure it out uh, piece by, by piece, system by system, and get these guys together. Um, down here you have the 33 cells, which uh, power up this whole motor, um, and it gets recharged with this wall inlet, which is what you would plug into your house and recharge the batteries. And once you have, uh, you know, your batteries all up, powered up, you have all this high voltage, running through that high voltage uh, wire. Um, this right here would be the main uh, gate where all this uh, voltage goes into the system. AJ powered up. And it travels from there, high voltage, to the, the computer, which will uh, control everything through the low voltage wires. Um, once we have the low voltage uh, system running, 
you can hear a contactors open uh, the flow of electricity through the whole system and essentially we're live now. Um, what we use to control our throttle, we use a 2004 Toyota Prius pedal, which is right here and we're ready to go. Uh, right now we do have it on a limited uh, setting. Basically we don't want any of the students or anyone to just go ahead and uh, you know, let this go at full power. So you'll see uh, what this sounds like. And that's all it'll let us go to. Um, like all you guys are familiar, most of your cars will have a econ economy mode or you know, some kind of like power restricting mode just so you can conserve your, uh, your fuel or electricity. But uh, Tesla and all the other companies have a sports mode or what Tesla calls their ludicrous mode. Basically where uh, <laughs> you will let all the power come out and basically you know, unleash the full potential of this engine basically all hell breaks loose and we have that adapted here with the power uh, just uh, pushing the switch and just you know our modes are completely uh, out of like full parameter and you'll hear this. Um, and that shows you uh, not even going all the way you know this can easily achieve like 6,000 over 6,000 rpms. Um, currently the semester what we're working on is uh, now that we have this whole system set up and mounted and we can diagnose it on the table. We have the motor right here. We're gonna work on, like you saw that transmission, which is gonna go, you know, basically mounting our whole drivetrain together, working on an adapter. Um, the adapter is basically, we're gonna design with SolidWorks and uh, eventually machine it. So once we, we're done machining it, we'll be able to, you know, set this uh, together with the transmission and have our whole drivetrain uh, running. A more primitive example right here, uh, Kaz has, you know, has an adapter play that he'll explain it. Okay, so. You can think of this as old technology, this is new technology. This is like tractor technology, this is Tesla technology. But essentially it's the same. Anything, all you need to make any car electric is three main components. The electric motor, a speed controller, and a whole bunch of batteries. That's all the limits, that's, that's what an electric car actually is. This is all you gotta put in your car. So that's basically it's the same thing. So what we have here, it's a DC, DC electric motor, it's a standard eight inch electric motor, with our adapter plate right in the middle connecting it to our transmission. So the transmission doesn't even know it's not running gasoline, it's just running. You get the energy through, it just runs it, which is the same thing we want to do there. That's the eventual goal we want for here. So let's just connect it. This is just connected to a single 12 volt battery, and we're gonna bring this up to about 20 miles an hour. I have it already put in the first gear. I'm gonna connect it right here. This first gear. I have all my gears right here. You can see my clutch right there, and this is First, let's go to second. The second gear, my wheels are right here. I'm just gonna do wheels. Now it's fifth gear. I got, I got third. Okay. <laughs> but that's the second gear. The wheels are just going right there. And this is neutral. So that's eventually what we want to accomplish for our setup right here for our actual truck. And that we've been doing it here for about two years. It's an ongoing project. But we're making it. We're we're closer than ever. And. Uh, what I got out of this project, well, again, my name is Kasim. I'm majoring in engineering science. What I got out of this project, I did a lot of CAD design. I did most, like a lot of CAD designing for all of this. I taught some classes in here as well. And right now, I'm the lead CAD designer where I work at an engineering firm. So, and I pass it to Michael. Um, what I got, I'm Michael. I'm also an engineering science major. And I guess what I got out of it is uh, being able to think on your feet, working with what you have, and just like problem solving, you know? Like you saw that copper uh, piping idea. We were really like strapped one day and we're like, all right, we gotta present this and we need uh, battery straps. And we're just thinking, oh, budget, where are we gonna get this from? And right in front of me was a copper pipe. And I was like, we need copper connectors. Let's just cut these up and just uh, spread them out. And uh, that's what we did, you know, just learning how to problem solve, you know, on the fly. I'll pass it on to Maria. I'm Maria and I'm also an engineering science student. Um, what I took about in this project is that I learned how to read a schematic diagram how to follow it and also learn how to solder um, a wire and to make it. Um, my name is Armando, um, engineering science major. What I took away from this particular project was I learned a lot of things going through it and being able to pass that on to new students coming and joining us, that's what I took away from it. Being able to hand that down to someone else and eventually growing as a group and growing mainly as friends also. Thank you. Well, that's Thank you. it.